Hello, this is Clop 321 I'm going to be going over the tutorial 017 or 17. Now, today I'm going to be going over two new functions that work with strings, str pose or string position, and and sub str or sub string. And um, now, first of all, we'll probably need a string to work with, so I'm just going to call it string, and I'm going to say we eat bread bread and butter all day long. Now, what if I want to get this part right here, um, I want to get everything after butter, I mean, I want to start with butter all and go to the end of the string. Well, first I want to know what to search for, so I'm going to say that I'm going to search for uh, butter. And then what? <clears throat> and then I'm going to make another func. I mean another variable, which I'm going to save the position of the string at, because right here is position position zero, position one, position two, position three, and so on. Now I can say position, or I'm just going to call it pause for position. I'm going to say it equals str pose. Of, uh, I'm going to put this string here and I'm going to put in what I'm searching for here and then I'm going to do that and I'm going to echo this uh, this variable pause so I can see what it looks like and today I'm going to be using Chrome because Firefox takes quite a bit of memory and my laptop's just not that strong now it says that it's in the 17th place See one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. So it starts at the seventeenth place and goes on. Now, so what if we want to get everything after it? Well, um, substring works in um, works uh, with the positions inside the text. So I'm going to say sub str. And I'm going to put in the string here. And the start, that's where the position we want to go to. So I'm going to put in pause and save it. And I'm going to echo this return variable here. And save. And I'm going to refresh. Butter all day long. And I'm going to say with tacos. And save it again. And go to this here and as you can see it adds it now if I say we eat lots of bread all day long with tacos I'm still going to get the same ending because it's still looking for the same word here now if I put another T here and save it it defaults to zero so it's going to give me back the whole string as you can see it does so I'm going to undo that now so let's just try to say um, the same thing with bread. And save it. And we should get bread and butter all day along with tacos. Now, what if we want to go past this word bread, but we want what's everything that's after it? So what we can do here is string position plus the length, strlen, of the search that we're doing. And save it refresh here and butter all day long even though we didn't search for and we're getting that but that's really all I'm going to show you today today's a short tutorial I'm still kind of sick in my throat but uh, you kind of probably will find the next recap tutorial kind of interesting because I really do not know what I'm going to put in it yet to tell you the truth but uh, I'll try to make it interesting also come visit my site uh, you can all, you can always find the sources there, and you can look through my posts. If you search for a PHP tutorial and then this and then the number, if you search for this, you will find you should be able to find the post that I uh, have done with that. And that's all for today. Signing off, Cloudflare three two one.